One thing that's going to make this road trip a little more unique and a little more challenging is that we are in the middle of a digital fast right now. How do you feel about that, Maya? Sad. <laughs> in an attempt to make the screen-free car ride a little more fun, each kid is gonna be starting with a clipboard with a pack on it and a pack of markers. I have one more trick up my sleeve for the screen-free road trip, and those are these surprise bags behind me. Who's ready to see the snack bag? Yeah. I've got all oh sorts of goodies. joining us on Tic Tac Toy Family today. Maya and I are busy packing her suitcase because we are headed on a road trip. Maya Bug, where are we headed? Black Mountains, North Carolina. That's right, we are heading out tomorrow morning, so all the kids have been busy packing. I'm kind of double checking the suitcases, making sure we're good to go. And we're gonna hit the road first thing in the morning. Are you all packed and ready, Colin? Oh yeah, it's full, like almost can't close. Did you pack too much? Uh, yeah, I'll pack some four stuffy animals, some, some like. I saw a lot of books in there too. Yeah, lots of shirts, almost as much as Maya. Got lots of books. And my favorite fragrance mist. And toast. And zip. Boom. One thing that's going to make this road trip a little more unique and a little more challenging is that we are in the middle of a digital fast right now. What's a digital fast? It means no screen no matter what. That's right, that means that we're not gonna be using our TV screens that we have in our car, we're not going to be using tablets, we are going to be driving five plus hours to Black Mountain, North Carolina without a single screen going. How do you feel about that, Maya? Sad. <laughs> This means that I am going to have to be a little more creative than usual when it comes to the car ride, and I have some fun ideas in store to help make the time pass, and maybe we'll have even more fun on this road trip without screens. Just maybe. How's the packing coming? Good, um, so I was already packed, but I wanna like reorganize. In an attempt to make the screen-free car ride a little more fun, each kid is gonna be starting with a clipboard with a pack on it and a pack of markers. I found the coolest road trip packet on Pinterest. It's from the website jsteery.com, which I'm gonna link below. Let me give you a quick peek at what it includes because you might wanna use it on your next road trip. The first page starts the travel diary. My favorite page is this license plate road trip game where you color in all the different license plates you find on your road trip. The last time our family did a screen-free road trip, we did this as well, and we found almost all the license plates for all the states in the United States. I think by the end of the trip, we were only missing two or three. There's also a USA word search where you find all the state names. There's an alphabet scavenger hunt where you find things that begin with each letter of the alphabet. A restaurant roundup, and that's basically where you try to spot all these different restaurant chains while you're on the road and cross them off as you see them. And the very last page is a color in slug bug seek and find. I don't know if there's that many slug bugs on the road anymore, but I guess we'll find out by the end of this trip. It is the morning of our road trip. Everyone's just kind of running around, getting everything organized, last minute things packed. Now, one of the most exciting aspects of a road trip in our family are the snacks. And we generally have kind of a no rules policy for snacks for car rides, and we allow all the sugars and sweets and all the fun stuff, so I pack some really fun snack bags for the kids, which I'm excited to show them because I think they're gonna enjoy it. Who's ready to see the snack bag? Yeah! I've got all oh sorts of goodies. All right, so we have Colin. Maya, <laughs> Addie, yeah. and Lily. I went to Five and Below to shop for the snack bag items and it was really fun because they just had a very, very different variety of kind of fun, unique candy and snack items. Now, you can't have any of that until we're on the car ride. So, 
seal it back up. Another fun way to help pass the time is I went to the library and all the kids picked out a bunch of playaway books, which are basically audio books. So each kid has one or two books of their own. They have their own earphones and we've got batteries for it. So we have lots of reading that's gonna be happening in the car ride. I have one more trick up my sleeve for the screen-free road trip. And those are these surprise bags behind me. So I have bags filled with kind of just like some simple fun activities. And we're gonna open one bag after every hour that passes until we make it to North Carolina. We're only going away for three nights, guys, but somehow with a family of six, it feels like we're packing for like a month long vacation. Hey, did you start your candy? Mm -mm. We haven't left the driveway yet. Who's ready for a road trip? Me! Well, we are officially getting ready to pull out of the driveway and it's time to pass out my travel diaries. Colin, here's one for you. Oh. What, you want the blue one? Yes. I'm gonna do one too. Green. Grab a color, I'll grab a green. color. Pink, green, I get purple. Yeah. I'm ready to start finding all the state license plates. That was fun last time we did it. All right, we're leaving at 10.20. That means at 11.20, what do we do? Open, Open the up first bag. bag. That's right. All right, we're 10 minutes in, Maya. What states have we already found for license plates? Alabama, Arkansas, California, and Tennessee. And on our fast food checklist, we've already found a Wendy's, a Waffle House, and a Dunkin' Donuts. We're on a roll with our license plate game. We just found Maine and New York, which are pretty far from Tennessee. What are gonna be the hardest ones to find, Jason? Uh, probably Hawaii. <laughs> you yep. might have some difficulty with that one. Alaska might be difficult. Yep, yep. Good luck. If we find Hawaii, um, we're gonna go So We're gonna celebrate if we find a Hawaiian license yeah. plate. <laughs> Colin, are you moving on to your audiobook? Which one are you gonna listen yeah. to? Um, the cow clocky movie. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's so cool. It's 1120. Yay. What does that mean? We get oh. to open the first bag. One hour, Colin, you wanna do the honor? Open the first bag. Ooh. with window markers. They are neon expo markers that are designed to write on whiteboards, windows, mirrors. I love how bright and colorful they are. I'm doing all of the Taylor Swift albums and I'm gonna put some decorations on them so I have a Taylor Swift window. Bucky's is a Bucky's is like this amazing place that's like gas station. It's food stop. It is if you need to buy clothing. They have clothing. If you need home decor, they have home decor. It's open 24 hours, and you basically have to stop at a Bucky's if there's one on your road trip because it's just a road trip stop. You got to go to Bucky's. Although I think it's more of a southern thing because when we lived in California and Arizona, we had no idea what Bucky's were, but they are a Big thing out here. The bathrooms at Bucky's are like as big as our house. And Just, they're the cleanest bathrooms. Yes. As you can see, 
Bucky's is swarming with people. It is packed in here and it can definitely be a little bit overwhelming for someone who is a Bucky's movie. What's your favorite Bucky's find? Well, you can't go wrong with the jerky. They've got tons of varieties of jerky. And I also like the candied pecans. So I'll get a couple of those too. What are you getting for lunch, Maya? Uh, cold pork sandwich and Bucky beaver chips. chips. Beaver chips, beaver chips, that's right. What'd you get for lunch? Um, a chicken salad wrap. All right. Southwest wrap. Banana pudding is calling my name. So the Bucky's clothing is very popular where we live. And I have known some people where pretty much the only thing they wear is Bucky's stuff. So, I mean, I think Bucky's is pretty extreme in Tennessee. Now we have to get beaver nuggets. It is like their most popular snack here. So we're gonna go find them. Here they are, Bucky's beaver nuggets. And if you need home decor, they have all of that as well. I'm in the home decor section right now. All right guys, I just need a little bit of arm twisting to buy that extra fudge. Oh, Lily oh finished with the arm. <laughs> All right, I guess we're getting fudge. <laughs> oh, that fudge looks good. Good arm twisting, Lily. I think we're ready. <laughs> Got my fudge. A little crazy. <laughs> this should a last us the next crazy. three hours. It is 2.20 now. Who's doing the honors for two hours? Me. Maya is. Let's see what it is. Sussed. So what is sussed, Maya? Sussed is a game that I learned to play at school and it's really fun. It's the wacky would you rather game and I got the wild green version with random world adventures. If animals could talk, which do I think would be the rudest? A, cats, B, seagulls, or C, hippos? I reveal your answers. I chose B. So Maya thinks I'd say seagulls. Colin, what did you think I'd say? Hippos. Hippos. How do you think I'd answer, Jason? I would go with hippos. They're all wrong. I thought eight cats. What? <laughs> Does cats? that surprise you? Yes. So Sus is just a four player game at the moment because we've lost Addie to sleepiness. She's sound asleep in the back and Lily's enjoying her audiobook. What time is it? 320! Which means next bag! Yeah. It's Lily's turn to open. Let's back see. it goes. Oh, it's like a bunch of magnetic games. I call Hangman, first of all. What? <laughs> Snakes and ladders, magnetic link four, and magnetic matching. These magnetic games were a good find at Five and Below. What are you doing, Colin? Playing fish games. You're gonna go fishing in the car. Yay! No way. Woo! Addie, what are you and Lily playing? Hangman. Hangman, that's a good one. My what one is that? This is Snakes and Ladders. I think it's like a shoot and ladders type game. Yes, it is. We're almost out of the red zone, and then we just have two hours and 10 minutes left. I'm setting up a magnetic memory game for my right now, so I'm gonna tear these apart and put them down. <laughs> no. <laughs> Having trouble catching fish, Colin? Yeah. <laughs> we have an hour and a half left. We left home almost four hours ago, and we are still in Tennessee. Tennessee is a long state. How's everyone hanging in there? Good. Not good. Not good? You ready to be there, Colin? Yeah. Yeah, I bet so. I'm so exhausted. It's different now. <laughs> Lily went back to sleep, it looks like. I just see lights here. <laughs> and Maya's busy dueling away. Welcome to North Carolina! We just crossed into North Carolina and it's about 420. It's 419 now. Still 419 Let's now. Go. 420, that Let's means go. it's time for another surprise. Yeah. Four hours. Addie Rue, it's your turn. Oh, I want the red one. 
So each kid got a Play-Doh Super Cloud Slime. How do you feel about that, Jason? It's your car. <laughs> I already have one slime stain in the back. Hopefully we don't add four more to it today. We just found Connecticut. We have 13 license plates left to find and only about 35 minutes left in our trip. I don't think we're gonna find them all. Well, our car is officially trash, guys. Not my fault. <laughs> I cleaned up my area. But it's now 5.20. We only have about 15 minutes left on the car ride. Let's go, let's go! But it's time for the last one. Yes. All right, you gonna I open, can open it together. All right, okay, okay. What is it? Oh, it's a noodle, a caboodle brain teasing puzzle. Oh, I love for you. Yes! These are canoodles. I found them on Amazon. They looked really fun. So I thought we'd check them out. I think they would be great for like restaurants when you have time to kill waiting for your food or waiting to get a seat. But hopefully they will help keep us entertained for the last few minutes of this car ride. Well, we arrived and we survived our screen-free road trip. Now, if you wanna see where we are in North Carolina, you're gonna to have to watch the next vlog. XOXO! XOXO!